Let's go right on to our next caller. Barbara, who do we have on the line? Roger, we have David, and he had an injury on the job, a rotator cuff tear. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Well, let's talk to David. David, this is Roger Reed Miller of Lori on the Line. How can I help you? Well, I actually have a couple of questions about a workman's comp claim. Go ahead. I, uh, it was last Monday. I tore a whole bunch of muscles and whatnot in my left shoulder, and it, torn up, it wind up being a torn uh, rotator cuff. Right. And it happened at work. I've had no prior issues with my shoulder at all. And I went to the ER. They checked me out and everything. And now with my doctor schedule and all that kind of stuff, the company I work for sent me home on four weeks of non-paid leave instead of giving me workman's comp. Was I was this, wondering if that's even did this possible. Did this accident happen in Kansas? Yes, it did. And... Um, did you report the accident as a work-related accident to a designated person who's supposed to take those reports for the company? I reported it to my supervisor, and he reported it to the manager of the yard, and they reported it to the lady in HR. Okay. And do you know, does the lady in, in HR know all of the facts about who, what, where, when, and how with respect to the accident? Well, they... After I went to the emergency room, we were trying to get my insurance numbers because I haven't got my card yet. And the lady at HR said I couldn't prove that it happened on the property, that it, was, that it, it wasn't a pre-existing condition. Well, do you have uh, any history in your medical records of prior problems with the shoulder? No, I've never had any other issues with my shoulder. What was the physiological activity, the specific physiological activity that you were doing at the time that you noticed a problem with your right shoulder? Well, I was shoveling wet feed out of bunks at a feedlot, and it popped. And I didn't think it did anything. I thought it just popped. But when I got up there, every I started eating because I'm hypoglycemic, so I thought my blood sugar was a little off, but it wasn't that. I was fixing to pass out because I was in so much pain. Well, no pun intended with respect to this lady in HR, but she's all wet. Uh, if you felt a pop, you went to the emergency room, and uh, you had this evaluated, most likely, David, the doctors will be able to tell you whether or not this was an acute sudden event, uh, a tear, or if it was something from a purely degenerative process going on in your shoulder. And they will be able to do that, generally speaking, with an MRI, but definitely with a scope of your shoulder. If they suspect that there is a significant tear of the rotator cuff, they will want to do at least a scope of your shoulder to see whether or not they can repair that and give you more function and less pain in the shoulder. And when they do that, they'll be able to look at the interior of your shoulder. And most doctors that I've talked to that do this type of treatment, do these types of cases, will tell me, well, when I got in there, there was an acute tear, which means a recent tear. Or they'll say, no, nah, this looks like something that was very degenerative in nature and has been there for a long time. And so the other way you can prove this is that if you have a loss, significant loss of function documented by the medical doctors that is contrary to the work activities that you performed there for the feedlot, uh, then that goes a long ways towards proving that this type of work did in fact cause your injury. The minute you hear someone from HR say, oh, you can't prove that was work-related, is the minute you know that they're going to deny your workers' compensation and you need to get a lawyer, a workers' compensa compensation lawyer right away. Uh, all right, David, do you have any other questions about that? Went to the doctor for a follow-up appointment two days after it happened, and the doctor told me that I should get one because this wasn't a degenerative thing. He's you should get what? A, a lawyer? Yeah. 
Wow. Well, when the doctor tells you she should get a lawyer, uh, that's quite an unusual circumstance. That means that they know that the insurance company or employer, in your case, is wrongfully denying you workers' compensation benefits. All right. So contact a work comp lawyer right away. Thank you, David, for the phone call. We are just.